Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on factorising. So in this video we're going to focus specifically on factorising into single brackets. Uh, so this process is the opposite of expanding a single bracket. So uh, starting off then, let's look at this expression here. We have 12x squared plus 8x. So I'm going to rewrite it here. 12x squared plus 8x. And we want to fully factorise this expression. And to factorise something what we're going to have to do is take out any terms or elements which are common to all of the terms. Uh, so here we have 12x squared and 8x. Now 12 and 8 both have a factor of 4. So 12 over 4 equals 3 and 8 over 4 is 2. So if we take a factor of 4 out of this expression, we're going to be left with 3x squared plus 2x. Uh, but we're not done yet because uh, both terms inside the bracket also have a common factor of x. So we can take out a factor of x from 3x squared so if we divide 3x squared by x, we're left with 3x. And if we divide 2x by x, then we're going to be left with 2. So again, we take out a factor of x. So we've got 4x now outside the brackets. And then we're left with 3x plus 2 inside the brackets. Now there's nothing else inside the brackets now which is common to both terms. So this is now in the factorised form. So let's have a look at a couple of examples. So we have to fully factorise 3xy plus 6 x squared. So uh, let's look at the numbers in front of the letters first of all. So we've got a 3 here and a 6 here. Are there any common factors of 3 and 6? Yes there are. So we've got 3. So if we divide 3 by 3 we get 1 and if we divide 6 by 3 we get 2. So if we take out a factor of 3 we're going to be left with xy plus 2 x squared. Uh, and now uh, let's look for something that's common to both the terms xy and 2x squared. The only thing that's common to both of these is x, so we'll take out a factor of x again. Uh, so what are we going to be left with? Well, if we divide xy by x, we're going to be left with y. And if we divide 2x squared by x, we're going to be left with 2x. So we're going to be left inside the brackets with y plus 2x. Now, there are no common elements or there are no common factors of y and 2x. So this is now in the factorised simplest form. Uh, one other thing you can do to check your answer is multiply out the brackets to check that it makes the expression that you started with, uh, but we're not going to do that here. So let's move on to another example. This time we're factorising with three terms. So we have 8xy plus 12x squared y minus 4x squared y squared. So again, let's start by looking at the numbers in front of all the letters. And we have an 8, a 12 and a 4. So uh, let's find a common factor. Uh, well, 8, 12 and 4 all have a common factor of 4. Oh, sorry, this is minus 4. Uh, but they, nonetheless, we can still take a factor of 4 out. So if we take 4 out, we're going to be left with 2xy plus 3x squared y minus x squared y squared. So now uh, let's look for another factor that we can take out. So we have an xy common to both. So if you take out x and then take out y from each of these terms, you can take out factor of xy in total. Uh, so this is going to leave us with 2 plus 3x uh, because 3x squared y over xy just cancels to 3x. So the y's cancel, one of the x's cancel and we're left with 3x. And then finally if we divide minus x squared y squared by xy uh, we're going to be left with, well, each of the uh, terms will cancel once. So we're left with xy, minus xy, sorry. Uh, so this is our fully factorised bracket now because there are no uh, common terms or common factors of 2, 3x and minus xy. So this is now in the simplest form. Factorising is a skill that's important to practice before your actual exam. So you can do so with our online exam. This is available through our revision platform and here you'll find loads of different questions to have a go at, all of which are instantly marked so you get feedback straight away, allowing you to keep track of where you're going wrong and how you can improve for your actual exams. So if this is something you're interested in, then you can click the link below and it will take you straight there.